Hi, and welcome to this section of the Basic Math Word Problem Tutor. And in this section, we're going to tackle word problems that involve multiplication of decimals. Okay, so if you have not already watched the uh, section of this video on multiplication of whole numbers and the word problems with those guys, please do that now because uh, once you do that, this stuff is not going to be hard at all. The nice thing about it is, and in math in general, is once you understand the basic concepts, building on them isn't that hard. It's just sometimes the basic concepts aren't that, aren't that well uh, understood, and then you have problems. So this, this time we're going to be doing multiplication problems. It's going to be exactly the same as what we've done before. That's why I'm asking you to review that now. Um, the only difference is now you have decimals in the problem. And a decimal doesn't make your life any harder when you're multiplying. It's not really difficult. We'll see in a second. As long as you can multiply, uh, know your multiplication tables, you'll be fine. It's just knowing what to do with those silly decimals, and we'll show you how to do that here. So don't, don't forget here, uh, thinking about the big picture, multiplication is just simply a shorthand way of adding two numbers or three numbers or four numbers together. When you say, I uh, have three books, and each book is two pounds, okay, multiplying them together is a shorthand way of adding up the weight of each book. Uh, two pounds plus two pounds plus two pounds. So what we're saying there is that we have two pounds for each book, and we have three books, and multiplying them together is just a shorthand way of adding up the weights of those books individually. So don't forget that multiplication is really just a shorthand way of doing addition. So all of these problems that we're going to work are going to kind of sound like addition problems in a way. They're going to sound a little bit like addition problems because a lot of times they'll say, how much, uh, how, mu how much did they weigh all together, or how tall were these people all together, or something like this. And you might think, well, they're asking me how much they weigh all together. I must be adding something. Well, don't forget multiplication is just a shorthand way of adding. So you need to understand the problem in order to know if you really need to multiply or not. And we can talk about it all day long, but the only way to really get good at it is to read some problems and go through some examples. So let's do that right now. The first problem says, find the cost of five shirts if each shirt costs $10.95. So this is a great example of a simple multiplication problem, and that's why I presented it first, because it's just one sentence, okay? Not a whole paragraph, very easy to understand, and let's take it step by step. Find the cost of five shirts. So I've got five shirts here, okay? And each shirt costs $10.95. Now that word or phrase, each shirt costs this much, that's almost a dead giveaway for multiplication, okay? Multiplication problems are a lot of times, not always, but a lot of times, going to have something to the effect of, this is how much this thing costs. Now you have six of them. How much is the total cost? Or another variation is, a person weigh, you know, an average person weighs this much, this many pounds, okay? There are 10 people in a room. How much do they all weigh together? So you, you have something that kind of describes what one person or one thing is, is their cost, their weight, their age, whatever, and then you have six of them or seven of them, and so you know how much each person weighs or whatever, and you know you have how many of them. So multiplication is how to find the total. Is It's a shorthand way of adding, okay? Same thing here. Find the cost of five shirts if each shirt costs $10.95. So instead of adding $10.95 plus $10.95 plus $10.95 plus $10.95 plus $10.95, doing it five times, instead of that, which is really what the problem is saying, you know you have five shirts, you just multiply the price times the five shirts you have is going to give you what you need, which is the total cost. So setting up your multiplication.